Coach, uh, obviously you guys shot it well, out rebounded them, but I'm sure keeping them off the free throw line was a was an emphasis. And uh, how hard is that? You know, it's certainly not easy because that's one of the things that they do. They're, they're one of the few teams, in, in, in my opinion, that if the three ball is falling or not, it really doesn't matter because they can get to the free throw line. They can make it up that way. They can get to the rim. They can get offensive rebounds. So we, we knew that. And, they, and again, they, they do a great job of getting downhill with their guards. Um, and, it, and, it, and I think they're the only team in our league when you have five guys that can make plays off the dribble. And, and when that happens, they're steady driving the ball, driving the ball. And, and in most cases, Reed guarding Williams is not accustomed to guarding fives that can go off the dribble all the time. But I thought he did a solid job. Because of uh, down, down the stretch. Um, down the stretch, uh, it seemed like you guys kind of got gassed. I mean, playing smaller rotations with the injuries, I guess, how much did that affect things? I'm not sure if we got gassed. Um, I just think it was a case of, uh, you know, you're playing against a good team. Your margin for error is very slim. Uh, everything counts. Um, we had the ball in, you know, a couple of guys' hand in, in vulnerable situations for those particular guys. Um, but other than that, I thought we battled. Uh, we got to get those key offensive rebounds, and you got to get, you know, critical stops when you need them. And it's easier said than done, but I, I didn't think we were gassed. I just felt like they made the plays down the stretch to win the game. And on the topic of rebounds, you guys started really well on that, um, but LSU kind of shrunk the, you know, the deficit. It was only one by the end of the game. I guess, what did you see the last few minutes in terms of rebounding battle? Well, the last one, um, you know, I thought we had it, but and they made plays. They, they were aggressive in attacking the rim. And I think what happened, you know, when you go a stretch with Reed, uh, who's a physical presence, not on the floor, uh, due to foul trouble. And that, and that takes away for some of your interior presence. Um, I think that's simply it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Drew, obviously, um, great game from him. But it, it seemed like he's kind of been bugged by his ankle injury. I think he suffered against West Virginia. Um, I guess how, how how much is he battling through that, um, especially with the other injuries on the team? Oh, he's done a good job. He's a competitive player, and uh, he, he's not going to make any excuses or complain about anything. He'll fight through it. Um, it's probably worse than um, you know he lets on, uh, but he's he's rehabbing. He's getting his treatment in. He's going to do whatever whatever it takes for his team uh, to give his team the best chance to win games, um, and I respect that about him. But. It's what it is. We, we, we fight, we lace them up, we battle, and uh, let the chips fall where they may. Um, I ask about Trey a lot, but did you see some of the good with some of the bad today, especially on the fouling end for them? Trey? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's growing. I mean, you're talking in his last two games, he's played in you know, played critical minutes, um, Arkansas, and then this game. When you, when you go stretches of not even playing, that's not an easy thing to do uh, when you thrust right in the league, play at a high level. And I thought he did a great job embracing the challenge. And there's no question about Trey Jackson's talent. It's just a matter of, you know, some things he continued to work at, and um, he's working at it. Mark, uh, just I, I didn't see it in the, the walkthrough. Uh, so it's best, man, I just shut him down. Yeah, I, I just I didn't see it. I need to feel it, and I didn't. I'd rather have him healthy than have him forty, fifty, sixty, seventy yeah. percent. Thank you. <laughs>